It's summer 2020, and many of us are planning a stay-at-home vacation, or what some people may call staycation. Since all my planned vacation trips have been canceled, I decided to spend this summer trying something new, and that new thing is stand-up paddling, or SUP, what people call SUP. I tried it once a while back. It was fun. It was always something that I thought about getting into, off and on since. I never considered getting a hard paddleboard because of their size. They're tricky to store, especially when you live in a small apartment. Thankfully, inflatable paddleboards have improved over the years. I did my research, compared several boards, and ended up getting a brand new 2020 10.8 feet long Bluefin Cruise. It's considered an all-around board you can use it for touring and cruising. And because of its stability and size, it's supposed to be perfect for beginners. So, let's start with the unboxing. Because of the material used on this board, basically a rubberized PVC, the box is pretty heavy. There's a kayak seat. And compared to cheaper models, other reviewers say this one is way more stable and comfortable. I will definitely check it out during this review. It also comes with a lightweight fiberglass paddle made of polyurethane blades. They weigh 4 to 5 percent less than standard aluminum SUP paddles you usually get with cheaper models. Bluefin promises on their website that the blades are very tough and impossible to chip or warp thanks to its no flutter design that makes each stroke more efficient with less effort. It also comes with a double action pump that has a high pressure PSI gauge and allows for single and double chamber inflation. Furthermore, the box is packed with a container including a minor SUP repair kit, manuals, a waterproof smartphone case, a coiled ankle leash with a neoprene band for safety, and a proprietary fin system that does not contain any loose metal parts and has the advantage that you can easily click it into place and secure it with a single integrated fin box and locking mechanism. The board itself is made of military-grade PVC construction. Bluefin claims that you can throw your worst at the boards, since they last a lifetime, thanks to their ESL for ultra-high tough UV-proof decks. They use the densest drop stitch pattern on the market, and use only the most advanced manufacturing components available. 11,200 stitches of 500 denier space yarn per square meter make the Bluefin Cruise 10.8 a rigid board. And last but not least, it comes with a humongous backpack where you can fit all the stuff that comes in the big box. But I have to warn you, when everything is contained in it, it'll probably be the heaviest backpack you will ever carry. The Bluefin Cruise 10.8 is wrapped in plastic and has a really intense gasoline benzene smell the first time you unpacked it. So don't be alarmed if you do come across the smell. The smell eventually disappears after inflating and deflating it a couple of times. Important for the stability is also the so-called crocodiamond deck pad that includes a kick pad for better maneuvering. The deck pad is non-slip and offers extra grip and traction, especially when it's wet. On the front, there is a cargo net to store valuables or extra gear with multiple D-rings for added customization and functionality. On the front, there is also a camera mount. It's a universal type mount that allows you to set up a wide range of cameras. The 2020 model comes with a new design that makes it look more modern than its predecessor. And some of the mentioned features are also slightly improved over the 2019 model. I thought I was able to set up the stand-up paddleboard by myself after it was inflated. But no, I actually needed help carrying it. The bluefin stiffness and stability is the result of its dense material and the fact that you have to pump it between 15 and 18 psi. Pumping it up is a little workout on its own. I read somewhere that it takes around 100 pump strokes, but the first time I inflated it, I needed way more than that. It took me about 8 minutes to pump it up and over 100 pump strokes. One thing I noticed was that the screw work like pump mechanism doesn't seem to lock securely. When pumping up the board, make sure the hose is twisted in such a way that the male-female connection doesn't move, 
You may need help from someone to hold on to the hose while pumping. Another thing that bothers me is that sometimes while inflating the board, the spring air stop mechanism gets stuck. When you remove the hose and the air stop is stuck, it bleeds most of the air pressure in a matter of seconds. This can cause some frustration because you have to re-pump the board and pumping the board up to a certain pressure takes some effort. This has happened to me twice, and ever since, I make it a point to pound the area a couple of times just before I disconnect the air hose to make sure the spring on the air stop is not stuck. Like I said, since it takes quite a while to inflate the board, and it's quite annoying when you have to redo it all over again. Please leave me a comment below if you have the same issue and how you fixed it. Since it seems many standard paddle boards have basically the same inflating and deflating mechanism. What I really like about this board is the fin system, because it allows you to securely put on the fins individually. It makes transporting the board much easier and safer. No need to worry about the fins hitting or snagging onto something. Just put on the fins when you're about to get into the water. The coiled ankle leash is comfortable thanks to its neoprene material and gives you some sense of security. It's been a while since I was on a stand-up paddle board. The first few minutes felt pretty wobbly, but I was able to find my balance pretty quickly and was surprised how stiff and comfortable the Bluefin Cruise actually feels. On my first 10 km tour, around about 6 miles, the rubber deck pad felt comfortable and gave you a good grip, even when it's wet. The paddle feels surprisingly sturdy and light. The only complaint I have is the plastic grip on the top. Compared to fiberglass material, it doesn't feel quite as durable. Maybe it's just me, but I hope I'm wrong in this regard. The good thing with the paddle is, it floats on the water. Should you ever accidentally drop it, no problem. The bungee straps on the front of the board is really handy, since you can store your flip-flops there, tiny bags or whatever you want to bring with you. The backpack definitely does not fit there though. So like I mentioned earlier, this one is really only meant for transporting the SUP and its accessories from A to B. Stand-up paddling is fun and at the same time a good whole body workout. It may look easy, but after the first trial I had muscle aches all over my body and the next day. This is due to the constant shaking of the board that forces your body to balance itself constantly while using all your muscles from your feet to the legs to the stomach to the back and arms. I've read somewhere that an hour workout burns around 300 and 700 calories. I need to point out again that the Bluefin Cruise is really stable and is well elevated on the water. Sitting down, I didn't need to dangle my legs on each side of the board to stabilize it. No need to worry about getting too much water on the surface, especially when using it as a stand-up paddling board. The only thing that causes the surface of the board to get wet are droplets from the paddle when you move it from side to side. As I mentioned before, the board comes equipped with a kayak seat. First of all, I thought this is just a marketing gimmick and that I won't be really using it. For this review though, I thought I wanted to give it a try. And I'm actually surprised. The seat turned the board into a makeshift kayak. It does need some getting used to, but after a while, I did get the hang of it. It was quite fun and gives you another option on how to use the board. I enjoy stand-up paddling way more though. Because even though the kayak seat itself supports the back, I found it hard to sit for trips over an hour because of the really stiff surface. I felt the urge to change position after a while because it felt uncomfortable. Also in my case, using the paddles for kayaking made the board and myself pretty wet from the constant droplets, especially when paddling fast. After the workout is completed, it's important to let the board dry all the way before deflating it and putting it away. To deflate the board, you have to simply push the ventil in. The initial release causes a loud noise due to the high pressure. Deflating the board takes a while. It can be quicker if you have someone to help you push the air out. All in all, this board is a great deal. For the price of around 599 euros, it comes with everything you need for stand-up paddling and pseudo kayaking. The quality of accessories are top notch and Bluefin promises a 5 year warranty. Bluefin offers stand up paddle boards in all shapes and sizes and there is also an even lighter and stiffer carbon version. 
I'm really happy with my purchase and can definitely recommend this board to anyone who is interested in this water sport. I added a link to Amazon Germany in the info box below. If you order it through there, you help to support this channel. If you have any questions regarding the Bluefin Cruise, leave a comment below. And please, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you next time.